Hi, welcome back. Today, we'll try to see how the condition update works in S4 HANA 2020. Okay, it has no difference. I found same thing. I'm expecting it will work like ECC. So if you are not yet introduced to condition update, what exactly it is going to do? Okay, when you go back, I mentioned here in three level, it will be applied. What are all these three levels? Let's try to see. First example, I will tell you first example, number of sales orders. This will be there at your condition record level. When you say condition update, so I'll tell you the business scenario. Okay. Whoever, whoever actually onboarded, okay, first time as distributor, okay, I'm giving on my first sales order. 1% discount, additional discount. This is like, you know, encouragement from my side to boost the sales, okay? From my distributor side, whoever onboarded, that is like, you know, privilege, you can say 1%, whatever the value. Suppose if you done one crore euros, 1% is straight away, 1 lakh euros I'm giving to speed up the sale actually. So let's try to do this scenario, how we can do in our S4 HANA. So, I'm see for existing customers, what we have created, all those existing customers. So for example, SC16N, if you go to KNVV, okay, probably like, you know, DRT1, I'm just creating, I'm just executing this one. So, I can able to find all the customers what I have created till now. Okay. So probably like, you know, let me try to copy all these customers. So I want a customer, open customer, not even a single sales order. It is not created. See why I'm showing? Because you need not remember anything actually what you have created yesterday. Okay. So let's take this. Try to execute. Okay. So, oh, sorry. I need to give. Okay. Delete all entries. So, probably I can give VKORG. Okay. DRT1 for this sales organization. I just want at least one customer. Okay. So, KU Narkunar Control F. Okay. So, let me try to paste all the all tools so that I can get. See, if I got, let's try to create, let's try to execute this one. We'll come to know any one of the customer till now any sales order it is not created so i think these are the two internal customers one customer i remember it's not created any sales order till now let's try to check oh you got all sales orders okay let's come here so sold to it is there right let me try to filter okay if i click here i can able to find it out so it customers are there but internal customers i don't find any sales order probably we do one thing okay xd03 okay this customer will take for our process actually so I'll, for this customer not even a single cell order, it is not created. Okay. So this is the customer actually. Let's try to go back. Okay. So let's check. Go XT03 and press enter. So let's try to check this BP. Okay. FA role created and customer roles also created, I think. Okay. We're good to go. 
okay shipping conditions billing no problem okay now let's try to do the configuration for condition update okay so now go b slash 06 let's take one condition type okay so i'll just try to copy my existing condition type i'm just giving one percentage right i'm just copying this one Probably you can use any key combination for this, either customer level or middle level, customer middle level, it depends. G, P, R, D. Okay. Privilege. Okay. Discount 1%. Is. We are giving privilege discount of 1%. Probably we can use the existing key combination. This is discount but it should be applied on first sales order where we have to control this so when you are doing this one if condition update if it is supposed to work then you have to tick this one let's tick this also no issues so you more importantly we needed this one okay now gprd just check this is the setting okay now let's go to v slash 08. So go to our procedure. Okay. So probably I'll just take one other step here. 113 I will take. So GPRD presenter. See, privilege discount. It's not manual condition. It's not required condition. One time it should apply it and after that system should not should not identify based on condition update setting. Let's keep this discount. So now let's try to check. If it is regular, then if I maintain condition record, so it has a different story. Okay. Now let's go to VK11. Press center GPRD. Let's go for this. So no problem, we'll go for this combination for this material. So let's take one percentage, let's save this. Okay, okay, no problem. I'm just saving this condition record with this. Okay, now let's go to VK12. How the condition update works, this is the secret. Let's go, I forgot to show you, let's go here. So let's execute vk11 only you can able to do it but still i'm showing this is the place additional data you go you click this button otherwise come here go to additional data both are one and the same okay so you see this three level first is maximum condition value so you can cap certain condition value till hundred dollars it should apply the discount or else number of sales orders what it is showing you can see this number of sales orders it is one to three and real time with the help of ABAP, we'll try to increase it to five if i increase it to five then till five sales orders this one per one percent it will be applied but we don't require so on first sales order only as per our scenario we're taking this one so and if we have this one also as a third scenario let's try to understand this first actually okay so on first sales order what is our target for distributor every distributor whoever onboarded first sales order we are giving the discount so now let's try to v slash yeah zero one so let's come here so we are taking this customer, new customer, let's take, okay, so let's try to check, if we click here, okay, double click and try to check, so this is okay, let's go to the conditions, now you can see GPRD applied, okay, this is the custom distributor first time we are onboarding let's try to check one thing for testing so for existing customers so this guy let's take
so with this material key combination let's go to the conditions see now it is not applied because for this external customer for this material already too many sales order i mean maybe more than one sales order is available that's why the discount is not applying okay now let's try to test this one with uh, our new customer so who is our new customer of this guy so let's try to for a difference i showed actually practically i will show you for this customer so let's take one card time no issues okay so i think stock is not available let's try to post it okay so gprd 1% you know additional 3 dollars applied on first sale order okay let's try to save this we saved you remember this 273 is the sale order now let's go to vl01n okay take our shipping point okay press enter it will not allow you to move further as for my understanding or else if you try to increase also because since it is stock is not there so it won't allow you okay let's do one thing go to migo let's try to post some stock so material is 161 so let's take some 100 cartons no issues so plant is drp1 and sale storage location so let's check this any errors are there no document is okay let's post it now stock is available now go to vl02n sorry VL zero one n. We'll try to deliver the order what we have created. Okay. So now let's go to VA zero two. Press enter. So let's. Uh, check item availability. Okay. Now it is confirmed for thirteenth. So let's save the sales order. See stock we posted. I'm just confirming. So it will allow you. Actually, it is available for thirteen. It's not the context. Actually, let's try to do the delivery quickly. So now let's come to. I would like to show in the bill. Double click on the line. what are the conditions so now you can see this this is the thing let's save this okay now go to pf03 click on accounting so accounting document generated then it is fine okay first sales order it is applied what is that okay so this is the 3.91 on one, uh, one percent it is it is got applied actually okay so now let's try to create one more sales order with the same customer okay we have taken the internal customer right it shouldn't apply so update test let's try to take so one carton so if it is applied then something wrong with the system see now it is not applied right now let's go to the analysis for this why it is happening you should know right gpr d1 let's go here let's click actually record is available that's what i am showing you let's wait it's a bit slow
you can see this. Uh, let's come here. So, okay, let's select this. See, condition record, but has not set. Has not set means it is not reached the, the what I would say, update uh, condition. 0, 1, first sales order, right? Now go to, uh, let's try to save this first. Okay, 273, it is got applied. Now go to VK13. So press enter. I would like to show you something. So let's execute. Bottom, he has given the button as for I don't know, like if this is something okay. Now go to additional data. I would like to show you this one is the right cumulative values. You can see this, this is what it is applied. Okay, so you can able to cap condition base value also. Now let's click on the billing value. So bill got created right for this. Okay. So this is how you have to play with the system. Let me try to show you something here. So let's go to the change mode now. Okay. Again, execute. So see. Either you will give either one of the condition. We can give the cap also. So I'm just taking this one up. Okay. Now let's try.